Hi, this is Emily of Emily's Paper Caper. This is the fourth video in the Winter Junk Journal Challenge series. I'm doing this collaboration with Kim from Creative Crafticality. In this fourth and final video, we are flipping through our journals to show you how they turned out. And if you missed the other videos in this series, you can still watch them. For the first video, we shared our supplies. Video two, we created our journals. Video three, we created embellishments. And video four is a final flip through. I will flip through this now. And I wanna start by saying thank you to Kim for doing this collaboration with me. She's going to give away her journal, so be sure to go watch her video and see what you can do for a chance to win her beautiful journal. I embellished the front of my journal with snowflakes because after all, this is a winter junk journal. And inside I've added more snowflakes and stamped images. I did a lot of stenciling just to break the white on the page and then I'll go in and art journal on top of these pages. I liked adding an element that is consistent in this first third of the book. They all have a circle cut out so that that snowflake can show through. This base book was found at Dollar Tree. And in this first third of the book, all the pages have this circle cut out and I did not remove any pages. So I will be doing art journaling, just something flat, maybe paint, ink, adding to the top of these pages. Because I left all the pages intact, I don't wanna bulk it up too much and I'll just leave, leave the pages flat. So I'll add more stenciling or drawing or art journaling or even just get a thick marker and journal on top here. So that completes the first third of the book. Now this center third of the book, every other, every couple pages I cut out and I'll show you that. But I started off with a belly band and I can tuck things between there. I did a punched border here. And here's where I've removed a couple pages. And by doing that, I've made room for adding things to the pages like collage or embellishments, like I added these, these things to this page. And I've got a couple flat pages and then I took two pages out so that makes it so that I can add elements to that page without bulking things up too much. Here's a corner, corner pocket. See, I've taken two pages out. Another punched border. A couple pages out, so I am added embellishments, and I can add more, but I just was getting myself started here. Here's another belly band, and this is a journaling card that says Winter Wonderland and another stamped image that I can color. The belly band. Now this back third, I have cut out a place where this set of colored pencils can live. I think it's kind of neat to have 
those pencils always available to use in this book. So I made a special place by cutting a notch. That little box of pencils fits right inside. And I have left most of these pages intact in the back of the book. So I'll do more flat journaling, but I did remove like every 10 pages or so, I removed a couple pages so that I can embellish on top of those pages without adding too much bulk to the book. These snowmen, by the way, were cut from old Christmas wrapping paper. I thought they were so cute and went well with a winter-themed journal. There's another place where I've removed a couple pages so I can embellish on top of these pages. I put a little three by three embellished square there. So I had a lot of fun adding stenciled things here and then on the pages where I cut out I did add some stamped images and a tag. I will show you the stencils I used once I finish this flip through. Here's another place where I took a couple of pages out, so I made a corner tuck here. Then at the back I added some more snowflakes and stamped images, and this snowflake was cut from gift wrap, stamped image. So here are the stencils I used in the book. This was a thick cardboard and before I used it I put some Mod Podge on it and let it dry to make the stencil a little, little more durable since it was just paper. Same with this one with the snowflakes. I put Mod Podge there and let it dry so that it was a little more durable that way. And then this is a Dollar Tree stencil that I used and just a numbers stencil that I thought was nice. So hopefully you recognize those from the pages of the book. Please let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to go see Kim at Creative Crafticality to get a flip through of her book and to have a chance to win the book that she's giving away. All the details of the giveaway are over on her channel. Keep on scrapping and paper crafting, everyone.